but yeah like i say this is the freest the cheapest mod you can do to your car all right y'all so as you see we have another new name i think it's been like every every time i drop a video i change the name of the channel but i haven't really found a name that really stuck to me but horsepower tv so far is the name so yeah you tune in to horsepower tv um we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video i'm not gonna be like them other youtubers that clickbait you or that I sit there and have a random ass video and then at the end of the video actually show you what you wanted to see so we're gonna go ahead and look at the charger. i have my dodge charger right here it is pretty dirty don't mind the dirt but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the tail light so i kind of um, did a tail light mod the cheapest tail light mod you can do on the charger you see my cousin right here he got the um, charger with the tenant tail lights um okay and y'all kind of can see it um it's it's in at the end of the day y'all can't really see it on camera y'all can see it just a little bit so i'll go ahead and i'm gonna show y'all how to do this to y'all car and then um at night i'll probably cut the camera back on just so y'all can see what it actually looks like at night So don't be like me, y'all. Um, when I was trying to figure out how to do this, I didn't look up no one else video. I just kind of started unplugging stuff. Do not unplug this because I unplugged it and now my trunk button is not working. So you see this cable right here that I do have unplugged. It is this big one right here. That's the one you want to unplug to disconnect the trunk tail light and you will also lose your um reverse lights as well but nine times out of ten you're driving and drive not reverse so who need reverse lights you can do a simple mod to bring your reverse lights back but i probably won't do that no time soon right now i'm actually finna figure out why my trunk button is not working this was the only thing i unplugged and i've noticed it stops working so let me see if we can figure that out and i'll be right back see the subwoofer i'm not really trying to show y'all what's in my trunk but as you see um when you do this mod the button your trunk button will actually not work i now got to test and see if my reverse camera works because so far when disconnecting that plug you lose your trunk drls that is the goal but unfortunately you will sacrifice your reverse lights and i've noticed i'm sacrificing my trunk button on the trunk you can still open the trunk from the inside of the car and um i'll show y'all right here the key still open the trunk and that actually wasn't the plug the plug i was showing y'all i unplugged the first time i still don't know what that is um because after i plugged this one back up like i said the trunk started working again so I, um but i unplugged it because i can open the trunk with the key fob or the button inside the car so let's just get inside the car and see if we still have the reverse lights and we'll put this back together. I said reverse lights. I meant to say, um, see if our review camera still works. Our backup camera. I don't, oh, we still got the reverse camera. You see my homeboy back there. So um, we good. All right, y'all. And I'll show y'all the button. And the trunk opens with the button. So yeah, um, I'll probably edit that out because I y'all my trunk is a mess. I gotta rewire it. So that's pretty much the video. Um this is pretty simple, y'all. I don't think I even explained how to do it. So you have this handle right here, the trunk handle. Is mounted right here you just unscrew that um you have a clip right here like a pin pull that out and this you just pull this down i don't have the proper um equipment to pull these off i like i just was struggling with the pins and i decided to leave it alone but just pulling it down right here is way more than enough room that you need to um get the job done and like i say this is a free mod you can do on your Dodge Charger. You know how people, um, let me see how the Mopar owners a tent day tail light, so it just won't be one big DRL. It'll kind of be um, a little different than others. This is um, a cheap way you can do it. I haven't decided on if I want to do a design, so I think I'm gonna just keep it like this, um, so it'll be different than other chargers. Um, I do look rough, I haven't even made it inside yet. Straight home from work, I was out here chilling with my brother and my big cousin. 
and decided to work on my car because I wanted to do this the, since day one. Um, but like I say, if you do, if you do the like the DRL trunk delete, I don't know what I'm gonna call it or what you call it, you will lose your reverse lights and you will lose the option to pop your trunk with the trunk button. You can still pop the trunk with the key fob and the button inside the car, but not the button on the trunk. Hit the like button, comment on the video, and subscribe because we are out. Peace. So as y'all can see, the sun is going down. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what it looked like now. Now, I'll probably edit this video and get it up tomorrow. So let's see if we can remote start the car. Look at that. Ah, uh, we still got to wait till it's dark so we can really see how it looks in the darkness. Because you can still see the little, the, the trunk tail light. Um, it still look very, very unique. I am getting tail light tint, so I will probably tint my trunk. Um, just wait till I'm finished. Y'all will see the outcome. But yeah, like I say, this is the freest, the cheapest mod you can do to your car. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe because we are out for real this time. Peace.